mm-hmm. I'm I'm knowing that someone is watching this, and when they watch this, um, they're gonna be thinking like, all right. All I heard was a million dollar company in eight months. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a million dollar. I don't care what bro I'm talking about. I heard a million dollar company in eight months. So mm-hmm. on average, mm-hmm. you said two words. You talked about skilled and unskilled. So mm-hmm. on average, what is a unskilled child like uh, hourly bringing for someone who's giving care to that business on average and then on average uh, a skilled? So unskilled usually on average between 30 to 40 hours a week. And you're getting paid $20 an hour for that case. Right. And so a skilled case will usually be, I mean, depending on that acuity, it could be any range. It might be 40 hours, 56 hours, like 76 hours. Because like it could go up to 24. Okay. Yeah, it could be a lot. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. so it just really depends. But their rates go from $41 to $47, just depending on if you hire LPN. The LPN gets paid the $41 and the RN gets paid the $47. And so, and the thing is when you actually are hiring your staff, we also teach this too, but I mean, you're gonna be paying, um, you know, your LPN anywhere between like $25, something like that. Um, You're gonna be paying your RN like around like 30 to $32. So on average, you're still gonna make more with the skill cases to your pocket than you will with the unskilled. Mm. And depending upon how many skilled hours you get will determine how much money you get. So I would say on average, like about 12, 12 skilled cases beats your million dollar company. Okay. And on average with unskilled, it's usually like around the 26, 27 okay. mark. And, and so we talk about personnel because again, I think this is a, um, uh, you talked about it's no overhead. And if you were to just get it uh, skilled or unskilled, you would then hire. How do you go about your hiring your personnel? Because you touched on you have personnel that's been with you for eight what plus years, mm-hmm. nine years. Um, how do you go through that process? Because I've heard a lot of negativity about CNAs, how um, unprofessional they are, how hard it is to get someone that's actually going to take care and pay attention. So how do you go about a vetting process? Are you on a LinkedIn? Is it more referral based? Like how, how do you go about your hiring per, uh, personnel process? So most of it's online through like ZipRecruiter, Indeed, like any of those platforms. And that's where we pretty much teach people like how to set up their ads to be okay. able to get like the qualified nurses um, based off of whatever service you have. And essentially, we also teach people like you're not going to hire a nurse before you actually get the case. That's one of the biggest no-nos. Like you would never hire a nurse before because you don't know where that client is located. That client could be mm. like an hour away. But you hired a nurse that literally lives like an hour from that client. We only hire staff within a 10 to 15 minute drive or maybe like, you know, 10, 12 mile radius from where the client lives. So we'll take their address. We'll put it into like, you know, Indeed is a recruiter and we'll hire based off of that particular location. And also, too, we'll do it based off of how many hours they got qualified for, because the thing is, you don't want to put an ad up not knowing how many hours they're gonna get. You might put an ad up for 40 hours, but they got qualified for 30. So wait till you actually get your prior authorization to bill first, and then set your ad up for hiring right after that. So if you know the client needs 30 hours, then you say, hey, 30 hours at this particular address, and it'll only define the radius of like nurse in that area. 